Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to podcast 8.1 in stoichiometry. And that's a word you want to be able to say, as well as spell, stoichiometry. So, first you have to define stoichiometry. Explain how to interpret coefficients from balanced equation in terms of atoms, molecules, formulas, and moles. Know that coefficients are not mass, and to find endothermic and exothermic changes. So let's hop to it. Stoichiometry. Stoichiometry. This is the definition, the mathematics of chemical equations. We need to know if we start with 50 grams of salt and 3 grams of crackers, how many Cheez-Its will we get, assuming Mickey Mouse here doesn't steal it from us. So, and chemistry teaches us how to do that. In order to do stoichiometry, the mathematics of chemical equations, we need a few things. We need a balanced equation. We need a given amount in grams, liters, or molecules, atoms, or formula minute, units. And what we want to find, of course. So, there you go. So, what do we need? A balanced equation, a starting, and an ending amount. So, for example, if I have one mole of CH4, how many moles of O2 are needed? See how this is a balanced equation right here? See how one CH4 would need two O2s. To show you how this relates to what we've been doing before, one mole of CH4, remember how times dividing bar, if I hated moles of CH4, I'm going to go into moles of O2, and remember, I hate you, moles, so I cancel them out, and then I need an equivalency here. Notice one mole of CH4 equals two moles of O2, one times two is two moles of O2. If I have one molecule of CH4, how many molecules of CO2 form? So here, notice we have a one-to-one -one ratio. So the answer is one, but just to show you how we're going to set it up when we do this, one molecule of CH4 times dividing bar, HU molecules of CH4, just like before. And then remember, these ratios work for molecules, and they work for moles. So, whoops, I meant to put CH4 and CO2. Remember, you need to have what it is. This is where that would get even worse and more confusing. 1 times 1 divided by 1, of course, is 1 molecule of CO2. If I have 2 moles of O2, how many moles of water would form? So here's my oxygen to water, right? So it would be 2 moles of O2 is my given, times dividing by our H2 moles of O2, so I'm going to cancel you by putting you on the bottom and go into moles of H2O. Now again, these are equivalencies. They equal each other. 2 moles of water equals 2 moles of oxygen. It is okay to reduce it to make it 1 over 1, but 2 times 2 is 4, divided by 2 is 2 moles of water. Now if I have 7 molecules of O2, hey, that's not the same number I have right here. This is where this might help a little bit. 7 molecules of O2, how many molecules of CO2 form? So, molecules of CO2, oops, I did the wrong thing. Molecules, come on, erase for me. Molecules of O2, because I put that on the bottom to cancel, and then we go into molecules of CO2. And one CO2 equals two O2. So seven times one divided by two would be 3.5 molecules of CO2. So it's not too bad. So coefficient ratios work for moles, atoms, molecules, and formula units. We're going to always go through moles for these, though. So, coefficient ratios do not apply to mass for grams. So, coefficients work for moles. Okay. Endothermic means taking in heat. Endo means within, right? In, inside. Thermic means heat, so heat is going into it. So, heat goes into a reaction. So, if something is endothermic, it feels cold. Because if I touch this, I don't know if you can see my evil hand here. If I touch this, it feels cold because it is stealing the heat of my finger to melt the ice, right? The heat term would be a reactant. It would absorb heat, and delta H would be positive. Now, that's a new term for us, so I think that's the next thing. Delta H, and that's red, delta H. That's a delta symbol. Delta H is a measure of internal bond energy. If delta H is positive, the reaction is endothermic because the molecules are gaining, plusing, energy. Exothermic. Exothermic is when heat goes out of a reaction. It feels hot. If I stuck my finger at the little fire thing right here, it would feel hot because heat is going into my finger. 
I'm sorry, it's exothermic because this thing is losing heat. I think I messed up my other one. Did I draw that wrong? I probably did. I, no, I, eh, that's right, I did it right. Short-term memory loss, sorry about that. So heat is coming out of the reaction and into my finger. So exothermic heat goes out of a reaction. It feels hot. The heat term would be a product. It releases heat, and delta H would be negative. The following is endo or exothermic and why. Write these down, okay? Heat is a reactant. If heat is a reactant, it's endothermic. And endothermic would be on the left. Remember, here's my arrow. It's reacting because it's on the left. Over here, heat is a product. That means it's on the right, so it's exothermic. The units for heat are kilojoules. So this guy right here is my heat unit. Okay, so that means heat is on the left. Or I could say it's a reactant, right? So it's endothermic. Because heat is going into the reactants. In this case, heat is coming out of the reactants. Okay. Delta H is negative. If delta H is negative, another way to write that, because it's negative, heat's coming out, I could put plus 33 kilojoules over here. So basically, this is exothermic because heat delta H is negative. End or exo. Positive delta H, endothermic because heat is going into the reactants. Heat is a product, meaning heat is coming out. Notice how there's a yield sign there. Sorry about that. It's coming out. It's exo. Delta H is negative, meaning my reactants are losing heat, right? Exo. The temperature drops. So if I have this thing and the temperature drops, that means it must be losing heat, because right? If the heat leaves, the, what's left over is gonna ha is gonna be colder. So if the temperature drops, it's exothermic. It's losing heat energy. For fun, if Marty is cool, is she endo or exothermic? Okay, so if she's cool, we assume that means to the touch besides just being the suave, awesome person Marty is. So if she's cool, that means if she is absorbing heat, right? All the heat is going into Marty because she is cool, right? So all the heat is going into Marty, she's endothermic. If Dino is hot, well, that's just unrealistic. We can't answer a question like that. That's completely unbelievable. The mathematics of chemical equations is stoichiometry. Stoichiometry, coefficients of ratios of moles and atoms, molecules, formula units. Okay. Exothermic releases heat, feels hot, negative delta H, and heat is on the right. Endothermic absorbs heat, feels cold, positive delta H, and heat on the left. And that's it. Toodles.